Health news now, an exciting new development for people with epilepsy whose seizures aren't controlled by drugs or surgery. It's an electronic stimulator that works sort of like a brain defibrillator. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how it's changing the lives of people with epilepsy. That's right, guys. You know, an epilepsy is surprisingly common. More than 3 million people in the U.S. alone. Now, the vast majority of those seizures are not what you see on the movies, the person falling to the ground, shaking all over. But epilepsy can still be devastating to a person's life. Here's a device that can provide relief. Well, it started with a car accident, drove straight off the road into a river. That serious accident back when Emily Borghardt was in high school was likely due to a seizure. She has both big grand mal types and the justice disabling and dangerous partial complex types. I'm staring off into space or I was jumbling my words and then my memory afterwards is severely compromised. Drugs weren't controlling Emily's seizures and they had serious side effects. And surgery to remove part of the brain where the seizures originate wasn't an option for her because they were coming from multiple sites. Then Emily volunteered for a clinical trial to have an implantable brain stimulator. The most advanced technologically is the responsive neurostimulator or the RNS. Here's how the RNS works. After extensive imaging and electronic mapping to pinpoint the origin of seizures, small electrodes are placed on the brain and wired to a combination detector and stimulator. The major advance of the RNS system is that it continuously monitors brain waves in real time. And if it sees abnormal activity, it sends a miniature shock to the brain to short circuit the oncoming seizure. Two out of three people will be what we call a responder. It means their seizures will cut in half or better. About one out of seven people will be completely seizure-free for at least a year. Emily says she rarely feels the effects of the RNS. I might have a little sensation, but it doesn't stop me. I just keep going, keep doing what I'm doing, and I'm not down for a whole day like I was before. Now, with the brain stimulator, Emily's been able to get a master's in social work from Fordham and is now working with survivors of domestic violence. There are a variety of treatment options for epilepsy. This is for people who don't respond to the others or whose seizures come from more than one brain region. And another kind of cool advantage here is with this system, they can take a, the patient can take a wand, hold it over the stimulator, and download her EEG. Wow. Send it off wow. to the doctor so the doctor can also see exactly what's going on. Wow. That's tremendous. It's amazing electronics yes. and technology. You bet. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Max.